All right, let's move on. You got them seven and five. I got them nine and three. Seven and five. All right. The South Carolina Gamecocks. Seven and six last year. Four and four in conference. Returning starters. They've got seven back on offense, five on defense. Experience returning. Number thirty in the country. That's number three in the conference. Will Muschamp, 22 and 17 in three years. He dealt with uh, a lot of injuries and whatnot uh, last year. They bring back a deeper core than he has ever had in Columbia. Uh, the over under, five and a half. Over is minus 155. The under is plus 135. Quarterback Jake Bentley, the most experienced quarterback in the SEC. Running back Rico Dowdle uh, should be the primary weapon after uh, Debo went to the NFL. Uh, however, Dowdle hamstring issues in spring and whatnot like that. Yep. He seems fine for camp now, but we'll see if that's anything that could Soft be lingering. Soft tissue stuff is, is yeah. Always so. weird. Always weird. You never know what the situation is with those. Uh, defensive line was weak last year, but their defensive coordinator, Robinson, says it is the most talented unit this season, so that's, that's good. The linebackers were pretty bad last year. The secondary is thin, which should piss off Muschamp because they have brought in some top guys in the front. And the fact that that secondary is so thin, it he can't do exactly what he wants to do That's there. That's right. 2020 is probably the year so long as they can get somebody in there to replace Bentley. That's um, what's so hard is... is this, this schedule is unreasonable. Yeah. No, yeah. Like, this we, is, we talk so much about Texas a and schedule, but this one is ridiculous. Like I Rotating Alabama in and having Clemson be your, your out-of-conference rival... Yeah, it's just it's just tough where you live. Yeah, I mean it's this is let, let's just go through the whole thing. Look against North Carolina in Charlotte in Mac Brown's first game back. Then you got Charleston Southern, Alabama comes to town. Then you play at Missouri. Then you've got Kentucky coming into town. You got a bye week before you play at Georgia. Then you got Florida coming in. Then you play at Tennessee, who by the way Will Muschamp has never lost to. Interesting. I fact, know when right? he was at Florida too. Yep. Uh, Vanderbilt comes in, and then App State comes in, and then you play at Texas A&M, and then you play Clemson at home. Like, you could lose to App State. You, like, I, these are the guaranteed wins, okay? Pulling A&M I, I and think, Alabama from the West and throwing Clemson on there is just unfair. Well, and then and then your road I schedule. I mean, it's, it's just crazy. Your road schedule at Missouri, at Tennessee – you got Florida coming in, and you play at Georgia. Yeah, you would think you would like think. I, oh, maybe maybe they can they can take a Missouri or take a Tennessee. You're not winning all those games. It, it would not shock me. Now, I I I don't expect them to lose all of them. No, no, but you're like, not losing them all either. I've got them five and seven, but that's with wins against North Carolina, Charleston Southern, Kentucky, Vanderbilt, App State. Now, it would not shock me if they were to beat Florida or Tennessee. Uh, lose to Vanderbilt or App State. It wouldn't shock me if they lost to Kentucky and beat Missouri. It wouldn't shock me if they lost to North Carolina and came up with something else somewhere else, right? Like it's it, I this team is they're talented. They're they're a good team and Muschamp of course will always have a a pretty good defensive team, yeah. right? He'll figure I, out something even though he's thin. And, and, and doesn't have crazy talent in the back end of that. Yeah. He, he'll figure something out. But there are just so many difficult games. Like, it's you are going to have to play above your head in, like, eight or nine games this year. I, I just I don't see where a bowl game is, is in reach. I, I take that back. They can get to a bowl game at 6-6. Six and six. But, man, like, to get to 6-6, six and six, you're going to have to – Win either at Missouri or at Tennessee, um, or I guess at Texas A and M. I mean, it, but I God, that's gonna be hard. You know, when you got Alabama at Georgia, uh, Florida coming in at Texas A and M, and then Clemson coming in. I mean, it's I've got them seven and five. What have, what wins have you got them at Missouri? I've got and, them at Missouri because uh, that didn't even get to scare me. It's a coin flip game. We just went over that. Now at Tennessee. Nope, I've got I've got Vanderbilt and App State. Well, I've got Vanderbilt and App State. I got them Kentucky. I've got Kentucky as well. I've got North Carolina and Charleston Southern. So oh, I I just think I think they win either. Okay, the well, I don't know where either Florida, Tennessee, or Texas A and M. You think they win one? No. Of those. Let's go over this because we can't have all of the same, and I only have one game different than you because I'm we're two games apart. I've got North Carolina. I've got Charleston Southern. 
I've got Missouri, I've got Kentucky, I've got either Florida or Tennessee. I think they win one of those that's, games. That's where we're different because I think they lose all of those. But that's only two games. So we, that, I, I'm so, five and seven, you're seven and five. I know that, but I have them winning one of them, not both of them. Yeah, but I, I had them losing at Missouri. Oh, then that's it. That's it. That's yeah. it. <laughs> Sometimes we have to figure this out I was on say, camera. I'm, I'm very confused about that's this. That's the way it goes. Like, how are we so far off? No, so I, I think they're seven and five. I think Muschamp usually gets more out of his team than less. Um, I, and, and yeah, they're going to have to perform well over their head. Oh, yeah. But I don't know that he's afraid of that. I'm going to tell you this. He, he ain't afraid of Florida. And when Florida comes to South Carolina, that's a game he's got circled. That's, Every I, I year. Normally, I normally he, listen to... He, he owns uh, uh, Tennessee. Yeah. So, like, for me to think that he's going to win one of those games, hell, that's, that's it wouldn't present. surprise me if he wins both of them. But if he does that, I think he's absolutely losing to, like, App State. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, like, because that's also must champ. Oh yeah, he he. Those games are always close. Yeah, always he, close. he's not uh, he's not hitting nine I was, wins. I was listening to. I I always try and listen to Feinbaum at least a couple of times a week. Whatever I saw on Twitter where he thought that South Carolina was going to be the surprise team this year, and he had them as like a ten wing team. How, like what what am I missing? Like I I guess they've got a bye week before Georgia, and Georgia plays. Uh, at Tennessee the week before they play South Carolina, but but it's at Georgia. Like, so you you if you've got them as a ten win team, you've got them beating either Alabama, Georgia, or Clemson. Now, well, yeah, they two have of those to, you're at right. Home. You're right. You you have to have them winning two of at least one of those games. Yeah, you're right. And then you're just chalking up the W at A and M. I mean, that's which just, you know you know how I feel about them. Oh, and yeah. we'll get to that. I mean, that's it, it's just it's, I love this team. And I like Muschamp, and I'm a big South Carolina guy. This is seven this is, and five would be. This is Homer pick seven yes. and five. Yeah, if they seven win eight, eight, would I'd be, be I'd be ecstatic. I'd be crazy. I'd also win a lot of money. I don't know if they were five and seven, it would be very disappointing, but it wouldn't surprise me. It would just piss me off. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. I could see that. 